When our group moved to Steinbeck, Manitoba, there were a number of questions that I had in my head. What sort of work would I be doing? What was our leader like? And what sort of activities would we get the opportunity to do? Because while I kept my distance, for sure, from the group, I still wanted to be getting the most out of this program. I still wanted to be involved because the more that I got involved, I knew that the, the more that I would grow and the more activities that we did as a group, the more connected that I would feel with other group members and be able to grow as well. At the time, I didn't quite think of it that way. It was more or less like, hey, I just want to be going out and doing stuff. I, I really want for us to be doing all sorts of activities, uh, despite the fact that at the same time, I wanted to avoid people. I enjoyed being alone and with myself and being in my own like little bubble, so to speak. So, it, 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 like I've said in several times in my writing, I've been, back then I was an emotionally weird person because there, were, there was all sorts of these contradictions where some emotions were conflicting with other emotions that I had and other habits that I had. So emotionally, I was a complete mess, a, a complete and utter mess. But, but at least through this three month experience in Steinbeck, I managed to sort out some more of my emotions, particularly in what I actually believe in and what I, uh, and even faith and some elements of faith. This was very key for me because I had a lot of conflicting emotions revolving around religion and faith and belief. And it suddenly dawned on me that I was not, I was more of like an empty shell. I didn't really have much emotion. I didn't really have much opinions. In fact, in Williams Lake, I was starting to experience a lot of emotions that I never dealt with at all. And in fact, looking back to it, these were some of the emotions that you would probably go through when you were going through puberty or as a teenager. And here I was experiencing them like five years later from when I was supposed to experience them. So because of the way that I led my life up to, up to this point. So with my experience here, I was able to at least get through some of my emotions, not all of them, uh, obviously, but at least like a good chunk uh, and specifically on like belief and what, what sort of opinions I should be having and, and like constructing at least like a belief system. Uh, now, obviously, I don't want to be getting into whole sorts of religion and religious stuff, obviously, uh, because I know that it's a very touchy subject, but as far as belief goes, I don't really, I still don't quite have an answer for that. Uh, as far as belief goes, like, my uh, faith is very blunt, but at the same time, I don't go to church that often. In fact, it's very rare. And... And especially, especially around that time, when I did actually go to a church, because uh, I went to one once, I felt very weird and felt really, like, out of place. Like, it wasn't me. So one of the things with Steinbeck that I really enjoyed and that I managed to get a lot of was, of course, my alone time. But a lot of that alone time was, was due to... Uh, basically like how much free time we actually had, but also the work that I was doing as well. I worked at a Mennonite museum, and Steinbeck, if you're not familiar at all with it, is actually a Mennonite community. So there was a lot of re religious stuff, so obviously I was kind of in the mood of like, hey, like, what's going to be happening in terms of like my belief? And it felt like, it, it felt very appropriate, especially since I worked at a Mennonite museum. I spent a lot of that time doing cataloging and, and stuff like that, so it really wasn't that interesting work. Again, the <laughs> me getting stuck with some of the jobs that not every single person was very keen about. But with this job, it, it was really nice because I had the opportunity to be alone and to leave myself with my own thoughts. And it was really nice because, yeah, like, it... it, it it set up the habits that I really needed 
for the future. Because even today, I still spend a lot of time with my own thoughts, going through all of my emotions, and, well, maybe not going through all my emotions now, but at least like with the whole planning and figuring out more about myself and discovering more about just life in general. So, I, I've, so through the work that I was doing, I managed to grow comfortable with being alone and really appreciating that. And this was further emphasized by uh, my own leader's involvement as well. For her, she was kind of lazy, to be perfectly honest, but at the same time, she also did have some words of wisdom because I was going through, again, like all of these emotional things and I wasn't too sure like how in the world should I be dealing with this. And I actually sat down and, and talked to her about all of this stuff because obviously our leaders do like to check up on us and see how we're doing and all, all of that stuff and I got that opportunity to do that. And she left behind, she, she left with me a very, a very valuable piece of information for me. And that is that the journey that I was going through was going to be a long and painful process. But at the end of the day, if you can get through it, you're going to be growing significantly. And that painful process was absolutely true because after the program was over, I was faced with a couple of really difficult decisions. And that shaped me into who I am right now uh, and who I was becoming and where I was going in the first place. At least at that point in time in my life uh, with Steinbeck, I had the opportunity to grow comfortable with being around myself and just projecting my own thoughts. And eventually I started to learn to, to reinforce that with positivity as opposed to just talking about doubt or all sorts of other things that didn't really help me all that much. So that was the starting process of that and I'm really thankful for that experience. Oh, 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 oh,